All right, well, we are standing out in front of John Webb's house, and uh, I want to do a walk around on one of your vehicles, but it's not going to be one. Yeah, just do them all, right? Yeah, I mean, so. Since you're here. You're going to like these. Uh, John has some badass trucks. I, I try, so, I try. First off, tell us what this one is. So this is a 1945 uh, Chevy pickup that was actually originally a one and a half ton pickup that I, uh, Pretty much scrapped the frame, sold the motor that was in it, and built this frame. Um, and so, what the frame is out of two by three box tube. Yep, three sixteenths. And then back there. Yep, got a forty gallon 40 fuel. Forty gallon yeah, fuel cell. Forty gallon yeah. fuel cell that I built. And what kind of fuel is in there? Uh, diesel. Yeah, diesel fuel, yeah, right? So, so four you, nine inch rear. Four nine inch rear with uh, Fox coilovers in the rear. Real long four link setup so it rides smooth I got and, and I mean you talk about simple and cheap it's got you know regular leaf spring bushings yep, on the lowers on exactly. both sides not even adjustable not even adjustable so I mean those those are like $75 yeah lower links but budget um, then the upper links you got uh, looks like three-quarter heim joint yeah those are old race car parts oh uh, yeah repurposed <laughs> right so triangulated four links yeah yeah uh, and I think you said that you had 30 gears in there yeah 308 and in the that rear. goes with the theme of the diesel right exactly exactly yeah. so then, come around here check out the inside of it so inside's pretty nice little leather seat huh? yeah you did redid the seat painted the dash just kind of keep it simple uh I see that stick sticking up there in the yep, middle. Yeah, it's right? got a T19 four speed in it. Um, and the T19's got a synchro first, right? Yeah, but yeah. I use it with the 308s. You do use first gear? I use first yep. gear, yeah. And obviously one to one and fourth. Yep. Um, yep. And this is your main commuter. This right? is my commuter truck, yeah. So and you don't just drive 20 miles in this thing. You drive. Yeah, like a couple hundred. A couple hundred miles each yeah, way. Yeah. And how, what kind of mileage are you getting? I'm getting like 35 miles per gallon. And why do you think that is? Let's talk uh, uh, the hood. Could have something to do with uh, the little little guy that could so that's a 4bt little 4bt Cummins and where was this the typical come out of a bread truck engine I believe so yeah. um, I got it from a guy in uh, Walnut Creek that passed away so I got a really good deal on it and um, uh, is it pumped up or anything or just no it's just pretty stock? it's pretty stock uh, I you know advanced the timing a little bit um, did the 3200 governing spring in it and that's pretty much it just kind of a so runner just a nice clean runner clean runner you and know what um, front clips on there it's actually a ford front straight axle because they make a bunch of aftermarket You're old school, huh? Yeah. i'm looking around there's a lot of straight axles. yeah you know, putting like crown vic fronts in yeah yeah like and it's it's four linked with coilovers in the front too um and yeah. then it's actually got a bmw rack and pinion on it oh with a, a volvo electric power steering pump wait so, so. you just what the exact opposite of what I was saying. You got a Gucci rack and pinion like with an electric nice. power yeah. steering pump. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite part, check out that air cleaner. Yeah, that's actually out of the race car. Oh, that's a repurpose <laughs> from the race car. And then uh, just a mechanical clutch fan, huh? Yep, just mechanical clutch. doesn't get hot? No, not at all. It runs oh, cold. It runs awesome. real cold. I had to put a new thermostat because it, it wouldn't go over 110. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Well, so, uh, we'll save the garage yeah. for a little bit later. Let's go out on the street. <laughs> so this right here, uh, badass rat rod, huh? Yeah, this is uh, the drift truck, I call it. Um, it's pretty much a drift truck for the most and part. And there's a theme here. It seems like all these are trucks. Yeah, yeah. So, did, so Did you realize that you're married and you have two kids? I know, now? I know. Yeah. <laughs> One of these trucks, you're, instead of chopping the top, you're going to have to extend it out. Yeah, but You might exactly. need to do a Suburban. Right, right. right? Yeah, uh -huh. get the family going. Okay, so what you're in make is this? So this is a 46 right? Chevy. Um, this was a dump truck that I found out in a field out in uh, Stockton. Yeah. Um, was sitting out there and I brought it home and pretty much started cutting it apart, cutting everything off. Um, I Once built again, you built the frame and this looks like a two by frame. four. Frame. Two by four. Yeah. It's kind of what yeah. I had laying around. And um, same as what you said on that one, you got four link, four link uh, with the pan hard and yep. just small little QA one coilovers. Yep. With the BMW rack and pinion. Oh, there's the rack and pinion up in the front. Yeah. Um, yeah. and can you open up the side yeah. of the hood and yeah. see what kind of power plant? It's so got this one's not diesel. No, this one's got a 383 stroker motor out of a Corvette that my uncle gave me. And then I ended up building this and giving it to him. And uh, then he gave it back to you. He gave it back to me because he was moving. So he was always like, he came up and was like, oh man, I really wish it, I would have kept that motor out of that Corvette that I gave you. And I'm like, oh yeah, I sold it, man. And he had no idea. And it was a total surprise. Oh, so that's awesome. It was, it was pretty cool. 
Here's well, this has cool. one of the things that we were talking about earlier is you got an electric water pump yeah. on this, and that's because the nose is so small, you couldn't fit a radiator in there? Yeah, I ended up doing the radiator in the back of the car, and gotcha. uh, so I just, I had that laying around from a project I had a while back, and... You got, you must have swing pedals, I see yeah. uh, wheel wood right wheel there. Wheel woods, wheel woods. Um, and so chop top, Yeah. and then you sectioned the roof here when you chopped it as well? Exactly, so as you, you go... you have to bring it to... Together. You, you, it widens as it goes down. Gotcha. So like as yeah. you, you got to refill in the piece. Oh, so you added this. Added that. I got you. Yeah. So you add this when you chop it and you added it on the door. Yeah, on the door, yeah. Right there. Okay. It's yeah. kind of hodgepodge. It's kind of the So tell the us about the inside there. So on this, uh, you know, obviously re uh, removable steering wheel and then it has uh, a six speed. Are those old race car seats? Yes, they are. <laughs> Repurposed race, <car laughs> Repurpose race seats and, and seat belts. <laughs> so it's a six speed manual. Six speed manual. And take a look at those swing pedals. You can't wear any work boots. Yeah, right it's there, like a flip flop driver. They fit in nice <laughs> flip flop driver. Yeah. Um, and then it's got the handbrake. Well. Yeah. Yeah, you got the, that's the uh, the old Ken Block handbrake yeah. there. Yeah. You gotta and, have that. Uh, this one has a roll cage in it. Too. Oh, yeah, full roll cage. Yeah. Um, just because. I know how my uncle drives, and I was like, hey, you got to keep him safe. And it, you pretty much, you don't just cruise this thing around. It's uh, no, meant it. to drive, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's meant to get on it, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah, for sure. So, so back so. here, rear radiator. Yep, yep, rear radiator. It's like the cheapest $99 one from Speedway. Yep, And gotcha. then the Ford Taurus fan. Oh, that's the Taurus fan. Everybody knows Everybody is Taurus fan, fan. yeah. <laughs> so do you run it on two speeds or just one? Just the high all just the time. Just high, yep. yep. And then, then you got the, uh, the, the keg for the fuel tank. Keg, fuel tank. Chained yeah. in. Chained in. Right. And then the fuel gauge right here. Oh, I, yeah, I love the fuel gauge. The fuel I mean, gauge, you got to have that's that. That's never going to ground out, is yeah. it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, one thing I noticed over here, um, the safety third scenario. Yeah. When I first walked up, I'm going, okay, the fuel filler with the wick down to the yeah. exhaust, <laughs> yeah. like that might light off pretty good. And then at the same time, I panned up and saw the fuel tank on yeah, the back. Yeah, it so. gets people going. Look, you you got me a little. Yeah, bit. right. You, you almost got me there. <laughs> Keep well. people guessing, you know. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And of course the. Uh, outside side exit you know the calf burners as yep, I, as I yeah call yeah you got to watch out with the yeah. flip-flops for sure yeah, how many times have you caught the back of your yeah. leg there yeah. it's a big step out you know <laughs> <laughs> well let's keep walking let's uh you know because i feel like you're having kind of your own car show today right <laughs> you know? so every, every uh every man owns a subaru yeah the lesbaru you know? man that's I what mean, i call it all-wheel drive yeah fuel mileage yeah, the scissor you wagon got both of the car seats in there yeah yeah oh yeah that's go to the snow nice. go snowboarding you know it's it's kind of the gotta Absolutely, have it you know right? but this is the real deal what's this so this is a 49 my 49 chevy pickup i've had since like high school um and it's pretty much my snow wheeler for the most part. I don't really hit any rocks with it. And I noticed you have some Dirty Life wheels Dirty Life race you wheels, know, yeah. Race car sponsor. Exactly. Nitto tires. Nitto Those tires. look actually fairly new. Those look They're not pretty bad. fancy for yeah. a guy like you. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And this truck is not on the original chassis, right? Yeah, it's so on I see it. rear fuel tank in there. Yep. Um, looks like this is an old Chevy Blazer chassis. Yep, 72 Blazer chassis. Yep. with uh it's got a 07 six liter in it so even this yeah. six liter ls <laughs> right dana 60 in the rear dana 60 uh still got the 10 bolt in the front but eight yeah, lug exactly uh, i can see i mean even right here look at this webb you still yeah. have push pull steering oh, yeah. in your sway bar yeah. on there, right <laughs> yeah. you know but uh you, old you, school you put you know in the inside it looks pretty decent right yeah it's so, you know looks like an old chevy pickup old chevy pickup but in true web style you got the vice grips to roll the windows up and down yeah and tell us what that big hose is so for. the heater we went our first snow wheeling trip me and my son and it, the windows were terrible fogging up everywhere so i figured i'd put a good heater from summon in it and uh then uh, you know you can defrost the windows hook that hose up and you and can just point it anywhere point anywhere you want, you want it <laughs> So this thing's got swing pedals in it as well. Yeah. Uh, I can see the, the LS computer there, there yeah. underneath the dash. And uh, this thing's a manual transmission too? Yeah, yeah. Was a 465? 465 yeah. with the 205. Can you open up the hood and show yeah, us the Yeah, for sure. LS? It's not too pretty, but uh, you know. That might be a theme too. All, none of these vehicles are pretty. <laughs> so. 
Yeah. It's kind of got, She's you know. She's just kind of jammed in there. Yeah. Still has a mass airflow, so stock, you know, uh, yep. computer setup. Yeah, just a stock. Center dump headers with V-bands. Yeah. I yep. like that. Some flow masters on it. Flow masters. Flow masters. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And, and look at this. Mechanical fan. Mechanical fan. You know fan. what? I, I am a fan of mechanical fans. I like fans. the mechanical fans. Yeah, they don't fail. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's yeah. all keep you cool, you know, so. All right, well, let's look in the garage. All right. And th this is the tow rig, right? Yeah, the tow rig. Cummins? Yeah. Cummins. Manual trans? Old 96. Is it a manual? No, or it's an auto? auto. Oh, man. I know, I know. That's, that's a disappointment. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do we have here? This is uh, your little toy box. Yeah, right? so, yep. Uh, well, we got the 39 Plymouth pickup that Another pickup. Yeah, I know. A lot of pickups. Another man. chopped pickup. Another chopped pickup. With room for, you know. Just me and the boy. Three other girls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I built this a long, or pretty, like, what, 10 years ago or something? And this one actually has the nice paint job, the, nice the body paint. work. Um, exactly. Did you paint it yourself? I did not. I had, uh, I did. I traded some work for the body work, and then I ended up having a friend that owed me for some welding I did for him. And he's like, let's paint it, let's paint it. And he was more excited about painting it than I was. And so we ended up painting it and it so turned out killer. This one's still solid axle in the front. Still solid, it's got the uh, leaf spring. It's got the leaf spring. Yeah, man. Uh, and then how's your steering on this it's one? It's just a manual steering box, like the Pino box. Okay, like, a lot of what like, they, a, like a little Saginaw box. Exactly, yeah? exactly. Okay. And you know, it's four link front and rear, there's a lot of stuff in the back right now. But, oh yeah, you, the, the garage tends to become right? storage. You storage, know, four yeah. in the rear. And yeah. then manual transmission as well? Uh, no, this is an auto, auto. turbo 400. Um, I like so, the shifter. Yeah, the old yeah. pistons and awesome. connecting rods. Yeah. So yeah, my wife, me and my wife built this. She was out here sanding on the frame and she helped out a lot on this. So it had to be an automatic because she doesn't want to grab a stick. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that'd be awesome but, for her to take the two kids. Yeah, one yeah, no, she goes out and cruises it. And so as a, as a father with all my hot rods and Jeeps, you know, when we have our kids and they're young, they say that they have to be in booster seats and all right. this other crap. And so... You know, I actually just took the seats out of my Jeep and ratchet strapped yep. the booster seat down in the Jeep. Yeah. And, you know, so I thought that was legal. Right. Yeah, uh, it's, it's you know, probably safer, honestly. Harbor Freight ratchet strap. Yeah, that'd be yeah. fine. That's what um, I do with this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we're also in your garage, and I notice, yeah. you know, you got a lot of bikes. So I got a lot of bikes. What, I love riding. What is this one? Uh, this is a 06 Street Glide. Okay, this is, this is like the... Uh, you know, the Cadillac. Yeah, this is but. my, you know, put down some miles and I call that a couch motorcycle. Pretty much, you know. Yeah. I went, I just rode up to Montana this year with a good couple buddies of mine. And uh, yeah, I put like a couple thousand miles, 3,000 miles on that's it or awesome. something. And then it was you got another awesome. one there. What's it, that one? Yeah, that's an FXRT that I built and it's all painted. It's pretty nice. What's this one? Another FXR. I kind of, I'm into the FXR stuff right now. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, and then this one, what was this one? This is another FXR, oh, this is kind but of a weird hodgepodge. It's in the workings, it's yeah, it's not done at all. And so, you came back from King of the Hammers, left the race car on the trailer, and then started tinkering on this. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> forget about <laughs> this frame. Running. I actually got on the Rubicon, I picked it up from a buddy that it was in Tahoe, and uh, he brought it, he brought it into, he the, brought it into the Rubicon on the top of it, and then I picked it up and put it on the top of my rig you and drove be out. Kidding yeah, me. so this, this. There's Bike not many people that has do, been through the Rubicon. They don't do Craigslist deals buying <laughs> motorcycles in the middle of the Rubicon. Hey, you know somebody's got to do it, right? Oh my lord! Oh. So yeah, that that bike's been through the Rubicon. Well, we're we're gonna walk around the corner, check right. and see what's in the backyard. Yeah. Man, what I do love is you got a lot of storage. Yeah. Like, technically, you can keep all these in the back. I could, I could move everything into the backyard, and you'd never know I had anything. Yeah. And. uh Race car hiding in here, right? Yeah, the race oh, cars. Let's, oh, that'll happen. Yeah, this thing eats trailer tires it's for some reason. Off time. Yeah. So, oh, look at that. Shoehorned Tight in. Fit, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's a, man, you got a couple rock scratches yeah, on Yeah, a her, couple right? little. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Rubbed it's it been, a little bit. Been used. Ah, it smells good in there. It does. It just smells like America. It does. <sighs> I love that smell. Yeah, nice. So, the fancy race car in the trailer, but you know that's yeah. that's one time a year 
all these toys are the real deal, right? Right, yeah. yeah so, it's coming up on um, summer, hopefully, one of these days here, and then, you know, start using all the hot rods and bikes and absolutely all that good stuff. So one of my favorite rigs would be this. Yes, and, all uh, the stuff piled around it. <laughs> all the stuff piled around it, but this was just down at the hammers, right? It was, yeah. Yep. And, and you do all your pre-running in this. Yep, exactly. And all of your weekend wheeling yep. uh, over the summer at the Rubicon. Yep. So what do you call this? The free-for-all. So the free-for-all, tell us the specs on the free-for-all. So the free-for-all kind of started as, uh, the original frame was for one of those hot rods out front that I was going to build, and then... So it's a two-by-three box, too. Exactly. It's pretty much the same setup that I've been running on all the trucks out there. Look, this is where your feet go right here. <laughs> like, literally, your feet are out in the open. In the open, yep. And then, uh, so then I kind of scratched one of those hot rod projects and started, hey, man, I got a bunch of spare parts and stuff. Let's start building a, another rig. And that's kind of how it morphed into... This, I did some side work and got the motor and training. And what engine is it? It's a 22 RE. That's what I remember, 22 RE. Yep. And then, uh, does it have dual cases? Uh, single case with the 4.7. Single 4.7 with a manual five speed. Yep. And it's super low cross speed. Super low, what yeah. What 538s in the axles? Yep, 538s. And, and it's a 60 front. And, and 60 rear. 60 rear, and this is actually a four seater. Four seater, this like, is the family rig. A four seater buggy is yeah. coveted. Yeah. Right? And the free for all <laughs> is highly coveted. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, there's something going on. You're going to want to get a video yeah. of this. This is um, one of the key components of the free for all. Yeah, right there. And is it is it hooked up right no, now? No, it's not. You can pull so it up. This is a Fisher. Fisher. Um, what is that? A 12 inch woofer? Yep, 12 yeah, inch woofer. And you this thing spins its life up here on the roof. Just ratchet straps right up oh, on yeah. the roof. And oh, yeah. it just, it's like high fidelity. You know what I mean? <laughs> Like the quality of music coming out of this thing, right? You know, on the trail is right top notch. Top right? notch. I don't want to mess that up. Yeah. So you have to take it off to store it. So it yeah, so it, it clears the roof. So on it fits the, in the roof. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Um, so that's, and look at all that, man. Yeah, I got some tires, wheels, some wheels, tires, yeah. a little stockpile going. Yep. I'm looking dirt bike because dirt bike. Know, every, every guy's got to have a dirt bike too, yep. right? So. <laughs> You're not a KTM rider, are you? That is a KTM. Oh, man. I got a smoking deal on it from a yeah. buddy. So I guess I, that's all that counts. It's a 500 with a recluse. I feel oh, like an yeah. old man on it. I that's could just awesome. putt around. The only thing, is it plated yet? No. Oh, you got to plate it. I know. I got to yeah. get a plate. KTM 500, that's not bad. I'll yeah. give you that. All right. <laughs> Tell us about this. The El Camino. Elco. Elco. It's a truck car. Truck car. Yeah. Um, Business up front, party in the back. Huh? So this is the family heirloom, yeah. Where yeah. my uncle. What year is it? It's a '67. Oh my God, you bastard! '67's my year. Yeah, it's I a '67 Chevelle. Okay, so same so, thing, pretty so you much. You got the SS hood on it. Yeah. Oh, I gotta go. I gotta come see this. And then this thing's got LS in it. Um. This thing sounds good too, Dude, man. Dude, that is awesome. Yeah. I love the intake on it. Right? Yeah. Carbureted, well, LS. Oh, you did carbureted? Yeah. Dude, that's killer. Yeah. I've always wanted to do that. Carbureted so LS. You carbureted the LS. I got this motor out of a, a truck that caught on fire and it melted the intake. So you had to do something? So I was like, yeah, well, we'll might as well get the MSD 6, 6 LS, you know, control for the coils and everything and timing and then do a carburetor. So it's got a Demon 650 Was it hard on it. to hook up the carburetor on the LS or did yeah. it just boom, just like that? Yeah, it's easy. Yeah. You plug the laptop into that MSD and you can program your timing and... You, you can get that nasty uh, carbureted big uh, cam this, idle. This thing sounds pretty damn good. Yeah, that's I could awesome. fire it up if you want to hear it. It's, oh, I think we're all right. I'll get jealous. Yeah. <laughs> it's and definitely then, cammed out. This thing's a manual too. Five speed, yeah. Oh, is it a Richmond five speed? Yeah, it's a the crash box, so it's not non synchro and you can just power shift it without using the clutch. So if I'm not mistaken, fifth gear is still one to one on that, right? But yeah. It's not an overdrive. It's not an overdrive. So you still want to run like a three oh gear. It's got set. a three seventy three in the rear. You got a three seventy three. Yeah. So it winds out because mine had three seventy threes with the turbo four hundred. And at like 65, I was like 3,200 RPM. Yeah, it does wind out, but it's it's a rocket ship off the line. So I put this transmission in a 67 Chevelle SS convertible. Okay. Um, and we did 350s. Okay. And, uh, no, wait, no, we did, 
We did higher gears than that. I think we did 307s. 307s. So that the fifth gear was at like a cruising speed. Right, right. Um, but it still ripped. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, it's a badass transmission. Yeah, that is a rad transmission. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I had two 67 Chevelles. The frame's exactly the same, same. as the El Camino. Exact same. In fact, if you, the bed has the foot wells the, in yep, it. Yep, cut out. Yeah, yep. and they cover uh -huh. it up. Yeah. So it's the same thing. Same, same hood, exact same. thing. The doors are different, though. Yeah, they are, yeah, they are different. Be just because how the the window the is window is, but, yep. Dude, yep. I didn't know. I like the rat rods, but the muscle yeah. car thing is you know, <laughs> making me happy too. So got well, a little bit of it all, you know. Well, I'll help you cover this thing up. Yeah, um, this is like I said, my family, my uncle's uncle built his house up in Lake County with it. And he was a fireman and then gave it to and my he, uncle. He built his house with it, meaning he hauled yeah. all the lumber. All the lumber and, all and everything well, in the back know, of I it. Well, you know, I do own a Corvette with a lumber rack. So, right? yeah, you know, so, you know yeah. what it's about. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hate to say it, but the Elko is my favorite. Right, yeah. yeah. It's one of my favorites, too. Even even more than the race car. Oh, damn, more than a race car. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh... Thanks for giving us the tour yeah, of man. all of John Webb's cars. And uh, a lot of stuff. I hope you enjoyed them. All you guys need to aspire to have at least one or two of these projects. What, you got <laughs> seven. I so. know, it's too much. Thanks for sure. <laughs> right on. Later. <laughs>